What was holding them back was Blake Bortles. So I'm going with the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. I can do a little bit more than sell newspapers, Chris. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>That man smacks a lot harder than you. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Stop. I, I want The to. Melvins, uh, we battle them later in the show. Uh, welcome, Sims and Lefko. Uh, there's one place we have to start. Yes. You are so obsessed with a quarterback right now that you compared him to Aaron Rodgers. Yes. And I've never heard you compare someone to Aaron Rodgers, Well, the Mahomes. Yeah, well, come on. I mean, what he is doing is special. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, by the Patrick way. Patrick Mahomes, our homie. And you know I love them coming out in the draft. But what's there not to love? I mean, a guy that's cool and calm under pressure. Oh, he's got one of the greatest arms in the sport. I've never seen anything like what he's doing. Really? Two games into his career, yes, it's jaw-dropping. No one it's has. Amazing. Ten touchdowns, no interceptions. Yes. No quarterback has done that for the first two weeks. No. But my question right. is, we've seen this with Andy Reid's team. We saw it last year, 5-0, and 6-0, and and then they get figured out. Right. Do you think he gets figured out? Uh, no disrespect to prior Andy Reid quarterbacks, but – you can't figure this out. What, what is this? Patrick Mahomes makes you defend more of the field maybe than any other quarterback in the history of the sport when you couple along Tyree Kill, Sammy Watkins, Kelsey down the middle. Oh, yeah, a good smash mouth run game. Then all the Andy Reid speed sweeps. Every inch of the field has to be guarded. Damn. That's where it's going to be special. And Mahomes is the most talented quarterback he's ever had. Hey, More Don than McNabb. McNabb, hey, you're great, man. There's no doubt. Alex Smith, you're really good too. But this guy has a chance to be talked about as one of the greatest players of all time. I've always felt that way. Wow. And we might have to put another shrine behind us soon. Uh, oh, Mahomes. Oh, my gosh. I, I was like going to go another question, but honestly, it's perfect because you know what our next segment is? What is that? Whoa! Whoa! Big take! Sims, when it comes to whoa, big take this week, there's only one guy that we thought would be appropriate. Right. Blake Bortles. Oh, shocker. Everybody thinks that you're just a big take artist. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't sit and watch film all week and study, and I haven't learned anything in my days from being with John Gruden or Mac Brown or Bill Belichick. All right, I just have takes. But we're hopping in the whoa, big, big take, take time machine uh -oh. to take you back to a certain man's takes, a certain Chris Sims. Right. 2017, you said if he gets cut by the Jags, he will never play in the NFL again. I stand by those comments. I believe that at that time. Yes, he was hot garbage. You then followed it up a few months later with Bortles was not put on earth to throw the football. Uh, again, I stand by that. He admits that to people. Thank you. All right. And yes. then this. Oh, no. Do I think it's stupid? <laughs> Oh my it's so gosh. It's stupid. It's hilarious. <laughs> that was your reaction to when he got the new contract. Yes. You sound like Heath Ledger in the Joker. Yes, I that's what I was channeling there. So nothing changes after he just knocked off the Patriots in impressive no, fashion. No, things change. This is the jumping off spot. You know me. I, I mean, do. Last year I was saying Jacksonville is the best team in football you did say for that. the second year in a row. And what was holding them back was Blake Bortles. If he can just hit those plays that are there to be had right. with that Jacksonville team, they are going to win the Super Bowl. I have no doubt about that. I know that a lot of people want you to apologize to Blake Bortles. Right. But you actually want to say you're welcome well, to him. I mean, I, I kept it real with you, man. You needed to put my face on some targets in the offseason and just bust me in the face. I've given you the motivation. Everybody was always saying nice things about him. Yes. He's a good guy. We like him in the locker room. I just brought it real, and maybe I gave him just the nudge he needed every morning to go, I'm going to get out of bed and prove that asshole Chris Sims wrong. If you end up being best friends with Blake Bortles, this is over. Because I am your best football friend, and I will not stand for other people being your friend. Don't you worry. We're BFFs forever, buddy, old pal. I appreciate that. We think we're best football friends, so we're going to go around the league this season and find different friends that think they can compete with us, Good with luck. our friendship. Right. And we're going to start with the Chargers, the Melvins. Melvin Ingram, scary dude. Best pass rusher in the NFL, maybe. Melvin Gordon, three touchdowns against Buffalo. They think they're friends, but are they better football friends than us. No way. No way. Well, I feel terrible because they trash. Dude, we're in trouble. This is our referee, Nicole. Don't disrespect her. She will throw. You get 15-yard penalty in a hurry around here. 
No problem. Sorry, Nicole. Easy one. Left go. Yeah. And you guys can't just write Melvin. Pick your battles wisely. We can just write. Hey, you have to put a letter. <laughs> no, we don't. Your name. No, we do not. All right, no, we fine. We're gonna listen to Melvin Ingram because he's gonna beat our butts okay. if we don't. Okay, <laughs> so. <let's> see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing the challenge flag on that. Oh, all right. I know I got the state right. I'm not sure. Ready? Nebraska. Mmm, I think that's high. That's a little too high. Wasn't that great Ingram. of a year? What did he rush for? What is it? Yeah, you said within 100. It was uh, 1,105. Oh, you gonna sort me like uh, that? Yeah! yeah. Get a dollar. He doesn't even think you're a 1,000 yard rusher. Wow. Damn. I thought you knew your okay, friend. Okay, I know what team it was. Oh, I, I got it. That definitely ain't it. His answer was show way shorter than yours. <laughs> yeah. so right. Go Turn ahead. Around. Yeah, you're Colorado. <laughs> They're in my Big 12. I can't play them in the bowl game. What was it? LSU, Nick Saban. You beat LSU? Yeah, I thought yeah. it was yeah. You didn't think that was possible? Well, that's wrong. No. <laughs> Gosh. I'm going to go this. Oh! Yep. What? Man. Right. Gosh. That's sad. That, that is sad. Okay. It's sad you're coming in here and bullying us. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe be the first club. Uh, we can I trust you. We can get them here. Come on. Okay. They're I'll like game talking. planning over here. I don't know what they're doing. Ready, set, go. Just throw it in the first cup. Yep. They're, all right, good. Next one. Go ahead. Don't, oh, then, yep, throw it in there. Go ahead. Go again. Yes. Go back to one. Yeah. One, 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 no, 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 no. All right. Yeah, right. Start a new cup. All right. Uh, new cup all the way to the end. There it is. Come on. Come on. All to the right more. I didn't touch it. No, no. You draw. Take it out. No, no, no. No, I know. Let's hurry up. I just want to beat him. All right. That's mine. One more, one more. Red to the third cup. Good. Are you serious? Yeah, they beat us. You got some slow, fat hands. I was moving at such a steady pace. Do it. Slow, fat hands. Do it. I swear, I'm not even good at this game. I ain't never played it. How much is it worth? It'll be worth 10 points. Ooh. How much was the first two games? You have nine, and they have two. What? Okay. That's how you know you the last one, Jenga. You me? That's how you know you deal with people who lose all the time. <laughs> I think this is the yeah, one. That's the move. Oh, so that's the key, Mill. You got to see if it, uh, if it move. Don't steal, you play your game. <laughs> <laughs> Talk around. I've never been around so many people that have never played Jenga before. That moved so easily. Okay, I have the one hand. Wow, you went for that one, huh? Yeah, I like to make it a little harder on MG over there. Look at the fear in his oh, eyes. Oh, I know. Ooh. Not a doggy. Man, you're so gentle. Wow, what a nice touch you have. Thank yeah, push it. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Oh, hey. 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 That's for you right there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good dog to HR. He's not used to being hit like that, Melvin. I hit him again. I like That's that. That's not how teamwork works. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Lefko. Thank well you. Well done. Woo. Yo, your pointing is so reckless. I swear. Like, <laughs> Any heavy hand God, know. dog, I'll be trying to tell him. Oh, his hands are heavy and big. That's it. What? If you don't pull it up. Boy, <laughs> fall. Ah! Hey! Woo! How you like that, yeah, boy? Next year, y'all yeah. gonna pull up again, right? And we ain't finishing with next Jingle. year. Next year, we'll come back with Let's a whole new again. set. Nobody comes on our show and beats us ever. Our show. Uh, speaking of beating people, Ryan Fitzpatrick is not only beating them on the field, he's beating <laughs> them in the press conferences. Everybody has seen his outfit. Uh, kind of look like Conor McGregor, but the look like is the key. Right. Sims, on the internet a few months ago, there was a meme called, what does it look like I do for a living? We're going to do it quarterback edition. I like it. Let's start off first. Ryan Fitzpatrick, what does it look like he does for a living, Sims? Oh, he looks like he is from, like, the Netherlands, and he is a DJ at a techno club. <laughs> it's Hans Fitzpatrick. Dun, 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 dun. Tom Brady, oh. what does it look like he does for a living? This is Armani's top designer. Too much. Too, too much. little. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like all black. All black. Billy Belichick told You're me to. You're a tiger. Billy Belichick. <laughs> roar <laughs> for me. <laughs> roar, Giselle. Roar. Tom Brady looks like he's the fourth Migo. <laughs> I actually like this outfit. All right, next. 
Oh, gosh. Andrew Luck, what does it look like he does for a living? He sells Tupperware in the movie uh, Napoleon Dynamite. I think that's who that is. Hey, look, it never crushes. He can put it under a wheel. I mean, that's what he looks like. A Andrew Luck looks like a guy that's really trying to get you hooked on a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Trust me. Trust if you me. get your friends and family, you're going to be millions. Give me your money. What Phil the Sims, hell? what does it look like he does for a living? I, he I, is a stud, I, first of all. I don't know about a stud, but he, it looks like he's like a guitarist for uh, the Eagles. I don't know what the hell he was trying to do there. He looks like the guy that bullies people at the local dojo. He looks like, uh, put him in a body bag, Johnny? Yes, he, he looks like the guy from look Karate like Kid. Put him in a body bag, Johnny. Uh -huh. You think he's going to be upset when he sees this? Uh, he'll get over it. What's up? I'm Sam Darnold. And screw Sims, you're watching Sam and Lefko. I love Sam Darnold. I am a fan. Are you a fan? I am a fan. I hope so. I am. Don't disrespect Don't be a stalker, him. dude. Uh, we've noticed with the LA teams, fans are an issue. So Sims and I went to LA, yep. and we wanted to recruit fans. I recruited for the Rams. I went for the LA iPhone chargers. Yeah, we made our own logos. I kind of like yours more than mine. You should. It's cooler. And it's Sims versus Lefko who could get more fans for their team. You're going down. Why did you touch my ear? I'm going to pay you this compliment. Uh -huh. One of the most attractive men on this beach. Oh, uh, see, Eric, now he's a liar. We're in Southern That's California. Nice. There's a lot of handsome right. people so here. Let's go. Why don't you go first and try to convince him to be a Chargers Well, fan? you can't root for the Rams anymore. They already left L.A. once, so they don't really like L.A., I don't think. The Chargers, you got Phillip Rivers going to be a Hall of Famer, Aqib Tlaib, Indomitian Sue, and the youngest head coach. He's not that much older than you. The Rams, okay, was like a bad divorce. The Chargers were good, but without a home. So it's like a broken home. I say, I'm going with the... Ah! Yes! I like the honesty, actually, that he's giving right now. Yes! There you go, there you go Eric. Yeah. Chargers! If you choose the Rams, there's someone that every Sunday they're going to bring you joy. You know what they're going to bring you? Constipation. So who are you picking? I'm with the Rams. Put that baby on. I'm one. Can I get both? You know, when I think Hollywood and I think the spotlight, I definitely see Todd Gurley and Jared Goff together. Oh, baby! baby. Two for okay. two! Pick a hat and then put it on. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Here from Australia. I'm gonna see which time is the better team. I really want to He's do your Adobe. accent back. <laughs> He's right. Adobe. Uh, it's kind of like a newborn kangaroo. Fresh, feeling good, springy, little hoppy. You did do a great Australian accent as well. Yes! Ride the riptide. We're gonna catch some waves. We're gonna shred the nah. They're all Hollywood. It's all about we look pretty and cool, well, but no, they're not really proven. You know what? I'm just gonna let you have Gail. She's... <laughs> You like the Chargers or the Rams better? No, yeah, this is great. <laughs> the next team picked is the winner of the LA Fan Challenge. I thought this shoot was over already and I won. What position did you try out for the Chargers? Uh, field goal kicker. Incredible. Yeah. And then you grew up a fan of what team? The Los Angeles Rams. Okay, so we're even here, Sims. Yeah, this when is you where walked we had to up go. here, Rod, I went, is that Aaron Donald with his shirt off? You know what team he plays for? I'm going with the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> Rams, the team of LA, Sims. I had a double dipper with the daughter and the father, she and that should speak. have been two of my hats. These last rounds didn't even count. Winner, I won. I mean, he's always like this. It's beyond frustrating. My hope with somebody in Lefko was we were going to find somebody that was the oracle, a better that hadn't bet yet. Allie is two for two, and he's nailing it. This week, Jets travel to Cleveland. Browns are favored by three. The only person I'm trusting with my money is Allie. This smile on my face is because my man Allie is back to back. He's the oracle, and I think he's going for three. Ali, 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 Ali. <laughs> my man Adam, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good. Because I have $119.05. I like it. Congratulations. Oh, like Thank you. You're blowing my mind. Now listen, I told you I was going to let it build up, right? You so did. So I have the 113 from last week on top of what's going to Where's the 65 next cents? Did oh, you I have it. <laughs> I have it. I have it. Wow, so you're really building it up. Absolutely. See, I was doubting you, but now I'm all aboard the alley train. Just like your boy Chris, right? He said all I can do is sell newspapers, right? <laughs> You got something you'd like to say to him real no, quick? No, I can do a little bit more than sell newspapers, Chris. This week's game, it is the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. They travel to Cleveland. Cleveland is the favorite. Where are you going? Take me through the mental mindset. 
Well, I'm a Jets fan. They're both coming off losses, they but are. I like Darno snapping back. You do? I do. So he, he did have some picks, but he threw for 345. You think Darnold bounces back, and then who wins the game? I like the Jets. Wow, straight up win. Yep. You've heard it here first. Don't listen to Sims and me pick. Only listen to the Oracle Alley. Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. 2-0. and oh. He's taken over your nickname. <laughs> he is going the Jets plus three in Cleveland. Are you finally ready to agree with Ali? Hell no, Ali. Let's go Brownies. I'm going the Browns. This They're is at a, home. This is a little rivalry that I think could blossom. Yeah, I Almost like it. Almost as good as your Bortles rivalry. <laughs> all right, so Bortles, you famously had him at 70. We've been talking all show. You're moving him up because of how he's played the last two games. Certainly. And the playoffs. Right. Your new number for Blake Bortles at this moment is? I don't have a specific number, but he's in the mid-30s. i got to evaluate everybody here. It's week two, but I know between the AFC Championship game, the first two weeks of the year. Mid-30s. He's mid-30s. You had Eli at 38 last season. Is he ahead of Eli? Yes, that's not yes. Not even a question. Not even a question. Wow. I would rather have Blake Bortles than Eli Manning. He can run, he'll stand in the pocket and make throws, and Bortles is tough as hell. Are you saying that Eli Manning's face on Sunday night isn't tough? Take a look into the eyes of an absolute tough as nails competitor. Oh. Eli, what, what sound do you think he's making there? Oh gosh, don't hit me. They're not paying me enough for this. So <laughs> I want to know what every quarterback in the NFL's face is when they get sacked. Right. So we're creating the hashtag sack face. We're so, talking about quarterbacks. So when you're watching your quarterback on Sunday, hit DVR when he gets sacked, hit that pause button, and send it to us on Twitter with the hashtag sack face. We're talking about quarterbacks. What do you think your sack face oh, is like? Oh, tough, fearless, just like, bring it on, Ray Lewis, Julius Peppers. You can't bring me down. That's pretty much it. I think it was more like, please, don't do this to me. <laughs> blow the whistle, blow the whistle. <laughs> Find his sack face picture, too. Again, the hashtag sack face. For Sims. Peace out, homie. I am the L-E-F-K-O-E. <laughs> Man. And it's always been a pleasure. Sims and Lefko, we're out. Enjoy the games. All right, those are my two. Hey, I'm going to keep it real with you. You <laughs> watched them right to 11. Oh, uh, yeah, it can't be. He did two. just he, like this. Oh. Well, my dad was 11, too, so it was like a He did not know guess. until you were 11. I didn't he got it wrong because yeah. I didn't oh, wear it, too. Hey, yeah. honest to God, did you get the 11 from him? I swear. <laughs> Man, I have a feud. Hey, what's up, homies? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the BR YouTube channel. Man, you're such a millennial. <laughs> uh, also, while you're here, we have a lot of other videos. Check them out. And then what time does our show come out? Wednesday, 8 p.m. Be there or be square. He ruined it. It was really close. <laughs>